It's that removal of the mask. You're like, hey guys. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Wow, we are really in sync now. Hi, Raul. Hi, Poppy. How <laughs> are you? So good to see you. So amazing to have you here in London. So what are we doing today? So I'm really excited because we're finally getting to have our glam moment, which we've yes. been talking about for like ever. We we're going to do some strong eyes. Yes. Be excited that what we're for that. Do? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we're strong some. eyes. Well, after today, we can go and have a little run around. Yeah, let's do that with our strong eyes. And we need to go to the pub. Yeah, let's do that. But maybe let's get back to makeup. Well, welcome to Vogue's Makeup Masters. Enjoy. One, two, two three. three. Welcome. Welcome. We're here. We've already done one beautiful, gorgeous eye. It's this beautiful sort of winged out smoky look that's inspired by old Hollywood films such as Sofia Loren and Maria Felix. And I'm gonna start off by creating a beautiful clean base using my very Valentino foundation. It's very thin and it's gonna create that beautiful pigmentation. Yeah, I was worried you were gonna leave me hanging with just no, the one no. eye thing. Why don't we start this trend? Shall we? <laughs> the one-eyed pirate. So um, I picked up a little bit of my Very Valentino foundation. I'm gonna have you close, and I'm just going to lightly swipe some color. I like to use my fingers after to really melt in the formula. I am going to use some of my Go Clutch powder. It has this beautiful sort of pearlescent finish to it. I'm just going to apply it in the inner corner of the eye and that's really what's going to create that pop and it's going to make the black on the ends of the eyes look really saturated. Who were like some of your makeup inspirations when you were growing up? One of my biggest inspirations is actually Serge Luton and he was a photographer, a designer, a hairstylist, a makeup artist. Really? And I really just love his work. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of my taupey color from my color flip palette. I just love, love the way that that looks, right? So I'm gonna start from the inner corner and I'm gonna work the product into the brow. As I've gotten older, I have this desire to be more experimental. I think as a teenager, I was a real tomboy. I was always climbing trees and makeup was not something I was really that into. But as I've gotten older, I just, I want to play with it. Um, I love turning into a new character. Just being more adventurous and being bold. I know exactly what you yeah. mean. I feel like for me, yeah. growing up, I. I would play around with makeup, but I was mm. scared to push myself and really? go outside and wear it. You Thank did you actually are. teach me yes. a trick today. I know. After all of these years of sitting in the makeup chair, yeah. I feel like, oh, I kind of know everything. I so yeah, don't yeah, yeah. know everything. But same, the lip trick, same. the lip trick is amazing. Yeah. You put the color on first, so you know what you have to work with, and then you add the, eye, the exactly. eyeliner, the, the lip, lip liner. liner. Hopefully not the yeah. eyeliner. <laughs> my brow trio, back to eyes, back is to eyes. my favorite. I'm using the pen because this really is gonna help me create that sort of sketch before I apply my eyeliner. It's really sort of foolproof, so mm -hmm. if you're not a pro at eyeliner, this is one of those tools that really just helped me create that fine, clean shape. The beauty about this product is that if you do mess up, you can tap and it starts shearing out. When you do eyes like this, how do you get them to be symmetrical? <laughs> because I've tried I know, I know. and I'll have like one line that's going up like this, one that's, and how do you do I that? I mean, I feel like for me, the trick has always been, yeah. and it's also a trick for eyebrows too, yeah. but I always love to sort of follow this, the nostril, like the tip of the nose. Oh, and that's it's about kind the of, nose. So following that, my amazing twin liner. It's both a pencil and a pen, which I really love. I'm gonna use the pen. I'm just gonna glide a little bit of color over my initial sketch. And so you don't have to be perfect about this because we're gonna add some shadow and that really makes it, you know, foolproof as well. What I'm going to use is that same sort of dense, fluffy brush. Yeah. And I'm going to saturate it with a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna pick up the black. And I'm going to start like in the lash line and I'm gonna work inwards. Tell you what I love about this look. Hmm. 
is that I know you're really inspired by sort of old Hollywood glamour, uh, but there's something very modern about this. Yes, exactly. I like it now, I feel like your assistant. Mm-hmm. Like well, part I mean, of the yeah, process. Yeah. I'm like helping you it's out. It's collaborative. And so I'm gonna have you finish the eye now. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> well, hopefully you're inspired to do this on yourself. Now. I'm going to. I'm gonna learn and then I'm gonna send you picture updates and you can give me marks out of ten. Please. I'm very competitive. I did. <laughs> What are your favorite products in this collection? Mm, that's a hard question. I know. I, like I know it. it's hard. Let's <laughs> try. But, <laughs> but <laughs> so I, many. one of the products actually that really stands out to me is actually the product that I'm using right now, okay. and it's the Go Clutch powder. I love using it on the eyes as an eyeshadow, as well as using it to perfect in the inner part of the face. It gives this beautiful radiance. I'm gonna finish my eyeliner. Mm. You can wear actually this alone and just throw in some mascara, but I really wanna take it to the next level and the eyeliner is gonna do that for me. And I wanna do my little flick. So let me have you open your eyes and when you're doing this at home, you're gonna tilt your head down and you can always lay your hand against your, your arm against your chest because that's really gonna give you the, help you with precision. I'm gonna add a bit of this on the bottom lash line as well. And now I'm gonna go over it with my twin liner. So now that I've sketched out, I'm just gonna go over. Gorge. Love. So I'm gonna follow my lash line. I really wanna create that depth in between the lashes and I really want this look to be strong and pigmented. This is gonna help give me that extra depth. When I was a teen, I used to love doing that like whole liner inside yes. and around, and then like smudge it out with your fingers. I used to love bands like Hole and Courtney Love was yes. <laughs> like my dream goddess. Oh, I love. Yeah, so I always wanted to kind of recreate that look. Mm -hmm. You know, like I've been crying all night on prom night. Literally me. Yeah. <laughs> Literally my prom yeah. night. What are you gonna do to me today, doctor? Yeah, now, beauty autopsy. Woo! Go. So now we're gonna do our final touches. Saturating that brush and picking up a little bit of that nato from our color flip. And I'm gonna connect my top wing with my drop shadow. This is something I've discovered yes. in my grand old age. It's important to also take a look at the makeup, not just in the mirror you're doing it in, but in different lights. Yes. So I'm like, oh, this is perfect amount of bronzer. And then I step outside and I look like an Oompa Loompa and it's not until I'm like at my destination that I realize that that's... Oh my goodness. I know, yeah. I know. So <laughs> this is Poppy's tip. Check the light. I mean, Scare. the packaging on wow. this though. I really love the color, right? Oh. I always have a hard time because I have a huge makeup bag. Yeah. It always gets lost because it's usually a black <laughs> mascara. Yeah. Not this guy. I never lose her. Never, ever, ever. I'm lifting the lid and I'm really building. Gorge. So this is our eye. Beautiful. All right, so now I want to move on to la bouche. La bouche? Yes, the lips. May we? A one, two, two three. three. <laughs> We're getting yeah. much better. So I'm gonna start off with just really adding color in the center of the lip, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna use Rosso Valentino in the color 100. So now that we have that color, I'm gonna use 106. It's a little bit more on the peachy side. I'm going to redefine my cupid's bow just a little bit more because I'm doing this sort of subtle nude lip. I really want the lip to pop. And so by doing that, I'm going to pick up a little bit of a lighter shade, a foundation, and I'm just lightly going to outline the outer perimeter of the mouth. So I'm going to finish up this lip with a little bit of powder around the mouth and this is just going to help keep the lipstick from bleeding not that this lipstick is going to bleed but if you're throwing on a mask mm. and you're going to have a little bit of that rubbing this is just going to secure the lipstick unless you know you really want that blurred out 
you know, lip Surely color. Surely that's on. what everyone wants. Why not? You know, it's that removal of the mask. You're like, hey guys, yeah. like, <laughs> and it's on the, the Joker, and it's on the teeth as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're getting one more thing. My V lighter. <gasps> My favorite product. The v -Lighter. How could you we, almost forget that? I, I don't know, I don't know. But we're gonna do the color rosa. How amazing. So I'm gonna just pump a little bit on the palm of my hand. So I'm going to press this onto the cheekbone. Gorge. There we go, that's our finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. How do you feel about it? Actually, let me do a mirror. Wow. Oh my God. Okay, I need to feel like I need to go out like this every day. Well, we're going to the pub after this. Oh, country. this is true. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Wow, we are really in sync now. Mm -hmm. We're ready. You can do makeup simultaneously. Can I tell you what I love about this look? Yeah. First and foremost, I love that the foundation is really translucent. Mm -hmm and has such a light texture to it that you can still slightly see my freckles. Exactly, that's what I really love. I love that. And the thing about, you know, even just going back to one of the products mm -hmm. that we use for the eyes, if you use the eyebrow pen, you can bring back some of those freckles too and then just tap and it gives you that beautiful natural finish. Nothing wrong with a few extra freckles. Mm -hmm. Okay, well all this makeup chat has made me really, really thirsty. I agree. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching Vogue Makeup Masters. Mwah. Off to the pub we go.